Alright, um, so today is day two of my uh, check recommended foods uh, for a protein type, which is normally how I eat uh, year round, so when I'm not doing a food experiment. But uh, I think I'm going to make it a little more difficult on myself and um, um, like do, it, do a calorie restriction. So um, I, I think I'd like to lose at least 15 to 20 pounds of lean mass and, and just total body weight. I don't care. I mean, obviously I'm going to lose muscle. I'm going to lose strength, but uh, I'm going to switch my workouts to more of an endurance, uh, an endurance type of workout. Um, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm about 170 right now. Um, normally I like to stay at about 167, but I think I'm going to go try to get down to about at least 150, uh, at most 155, try to get down to maybe 150 pounds. And I'm going to basically start that right now and see how long it takes me. And I would imagine it's probably going to take me a little while. Uh, I'm going to have to start doing... Um, doing some running and um, just really I'm going to have to restrict my caloric intake a lot. You guys notice that I eat a ton of food. But anyway, I'm going to keep going with the intermittent fasting for the duration of my experiment, which is another 18 days. Um, but And I'll, and I'll tr give myself treats and leeway here and there, but um, I'm going to basically try to eat smaller portions and lower calories. I'd probably say typically I eat, you know, who knows, 3,000 plus calories a day, I'm going to try to cut that almost in half and um, eat, you know, 1,500 to 2,000 calories a day. Um, so right now is my first meal of the day. It's been almost 18 hours. And um, uh, I've got some, some grass-fed ribeye steaks. I've got two steaks here. Both of them weigh together. Uh, two pounds, and I'm going to try to only eat about three ounces right now, so I might cook one steak and uh, cut it in like a third, um, what else am I going to eat, I'm going to eat, so uh, like two to three ounces of meat, like three ounces of meat, and then I'm going to eat, uh, like three tablespoons of fat. I got some flax oil right here. I'm gonna make some uh, a nut formula. I'm gonna make a, a macadamia nut butter. And I'm gonna eat a few cups of vegetables. Maybe like a cup and a half of celery. Um, I'm kind of going to eyeball it, just like two pieces of celery. And like a cup and a half of broccoli. So let's just say like this bunch of broccoli, which is probably less than a cup and a half, but that celery is probably more than a cup and a half. Anyway, I'm really hungry. Um, it was kind of like real mellow and chill at work today. I didn't have any coffee. I'm going to follow that David Getoff food pyramid and uh, not have coffee anymore or recreational drugs. Um, only one to five times a month. So basically, I'll only drink it randomly, but I probably won't drink any more coffee for the rest of my experiment because I've been having it every day. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to cook a steak. I'm going to turn this off and make some uh, nut butters and stuff, but uh, I'll turn it back on in a minute. Alright, so I um, made macadamia butter. Two eggs, honey, ghee, and macadamias. And 
I just ate whatever came off the uh, plunger and whatever I couldn't pour out. So I probably had maybe three tablespoons at the most, um, which is um, about half of the amount of fat that I'm going to eat today. I also had a tablespoon of flax, uh, that amount of broccoli that you saw, which was maybe a cup. Uh, this is my second stick of celery. And uh, a ribeye steak that I cooked in a pan for maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe five minutes. Just a few minutes on each side. So it should be nice and rare. Yeah, you can see. Pretty rare. No, uh, no seasoning, no salt, no pepper. Hmm, but it's delicious. Um, basically, I think I'd like to lose weight to have a uh, more optimal BMI. I know I'm lean and uh, I don't have a lot of body fat, but my body mass index is kind of high. I'm about five foot, I say I'm five foot eight, but I got measured at five foot ten, so I just, I'll call myself five nine. Five nine hundred and seventy pounds. I'm like right at a twenty five BMI, which is like right at being overweight for your frame size. But if you if you wrap your index and your thumb around your uh, your wrist right there, you can tell kind of your bone structure. And I have uh, a large bone structure. If you can't touch, then you have large. If you just barely touch, then you have normal. Um, and if your fingers overlap, you have a small small frame. So that kind of de determines how much mass you can hold on your bones. So I can hold a little more mass, but I think I just want to try to lose some weight just to see if I can do it. It's really easy for me to gain or maintain this certain size that I'm at right now. So I think I'd like to see if I can just lose 15 or 20 pounds just for the hell of it. But we'll see. We'll see. We will see. Alright, second uh, meal of the day, 7.30, just got home from drug class. I'm going to make another ribeye, another two sticks of celery, and some broccoli. And uh, as far as fat this time, uh, I'm not going to do any macadamia butter. I'm going to just put a little bit of uh, olive oil in the pan that I'm going to cook these steaks with. I'm just going to eyeball like maybe a, a tablespoon or two. And, uh, that's gonna be it. Uh, I feel really fat for some reason. I don't know why. I feel real bloated, like real big belly. I haven't had any beverages today except water. Usually I drink a lot of kombucha and espresso. Salt pepper on? No? Yeah, I'm boy. You have an onion, yeah? Yeah. Are you going to make this ribeye for you and Rob? Why don't you let uh, now? He's going to eat out. Oh.
We need to do some of these peppers. So I took a few of those peppers and put them in. I think these are just red bell pepper, right? We need to toss a few in there. Toss them in and them. Yes. Okay, we're going to move all this stuff out of the way. Mom's going to make carrot ginger soup, so I'll probably have some of that whenever it's done. Cutting board and knife. I got a cutting board right here. Hmm? I got a cutting board right here, but still. This thing is greedy and gross. I'll call you back. How to make a jail pizza mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah I'm with ramen noodles <laughs> yeah. spread and a uh, and black a trash bag and i don't know what else hot water something like cookie that. cake
Mm-hmm. He's like the same size as Gunner. Yeah, they, yeah, they need to meet. My client, has, <laughs> my client has a big, good-looking golden one too. I think it'd be mm-hmm. cool to get them all together. That's cute. I think it'd be cool to have one of each. Doggies. A golden, a chocolate, and a black. Yeah. I've had so many dogs. I'm pretty sure I probably had all three. If I'm, maybe not all at once, so. though. Well, I don't think we've had any golden labs. We had black labs, and me and Dad had a chocolate lab. I think I am going to double, so as much as you can out of that. Okay. So, <laughs> we have added coconut? Yeah. Yeah. Everything's up in there. Okay, i got to feel these carrots. I don't really have a Let me put it into all that because we're making it decent day. I have to like, peel it. No. No, I just use it straight. As a, as a filter. We're not, we're not filtering this, we're making carry ginger soup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be better than those. Mm-hmm. This is pretty good. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah, I think like, the first batch I made was pretty good. Really? The weird thing is, is like the chef doesn't really give too much of a shit about our stuff in the market, like what we sell and like foods and prepared foods. He make like they make them all back there, but they don't care as much because they it's like the bistro thing. Yeah, it's all the yeah. same kitchen. Yeah, yeah, but they don't they don't put as much like care yeah. into it. You know, it really sucks. I wish they would. But they, I can't really. Do it. I think some of that prepared food could be a lot better. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, Especially that salad bar. Yeah. It's really sucks. A lot of stuff on the set. Mm-hmm. And the really price well. of it is ridiculous. <laughs> Y'all have a salad bar now with the Ayals? Yeah, we always have. Right but the thing about it is we charge by the pound and it's like retarded price per pound. Like $13 a pound or something mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. How come it's not like it is at a... kitchen? I don't know. Because they're stupid. Maybe. Well, they're getting better than they were when Carrie was there. Really? I had somebody actually say the other day that they missed him. Ooh. I was like, you're crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, a, like somebody that worked with him? No, like I guess. She's like, she's crazy. like, oh, because he. Heard her little old husband. Yeah. I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, really? I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Okay. The whole thing? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, really good. Excellent. Let's see. Peaches and guacamole. Yeah, well, for my birthday, I don't know the person, but the person who's buying me is this friend, my friend's okay. Yeah, I'm just going to go come to someone's birthday party with, you know, free alcohol because they're doing, like, bottle service, I guess, at this bar. I'm like, yeah, I'm just come to someone's birthday with them.
Mm-hmm. 